Sloan, thanks for being with us on USTA.com. Gosh, that was a big win over Bethany Maddox. Sands. Must be tough playing another American and somebody you know pretty well also. Yeah, it's definitely always tough to play an American and Bethany is a good friend of mine. I've seen her so much like over the last couple of years and you know, it was a tough match. I didn't really, I didn't expect it to go that way because I'm a little sick and I have the sniffles, but you know, it was a good one for me and I'm excited. We've spoken on a number of occasions for USDA.com. How is this French Open different to the last one you played or some of the other Grand Slams for you? Um, not really sure. I mean, this is my second Bay tournament, as I said. Um, it's always nice to be in the third round of a slam, and I was in third round of US Open, so that was nice. And I, this matches, but not really because it's not a home slam, but it is kind of my favorite tournament. So I'm happy, but. It could always be better. I'm sure it can, but just getting back to the match against Bethany, as the games were falling your way, were you pinching yourself? Is it, should it, You were wondering, should it really be going like this? You're expecting, no doubt, a tougher match. Yeah, definitely. I was kind of like, is this a twilight zone or what? But, I mean, I was like, okay, I just got to keep focusing and playing and just not get distracted. And I think I did a pretty good job of that, considering it was kind of a weird match. So I think I'm proud of myself for not getting distracted. What were the conditions like on court? Um, it was hot at the beginning, and then the clouds came, and it got a little dark, but uh, it's getting a little colder now, but it was okay during mm -hmm. the match. Are you satisfied with what you've achieved so far in this tournament, or is there always more? Obviously, there's more, but, you know. <laughs> There's always more, so you're never, never going to settle, so we're just going to keep it at that, or we're just moving forward. What's the, what's the ambition? I mean, what, what's driving you to keep going here? I mean, what are you looking out for? Um, I gotta keep winning so I can get a first class ticket home. So For you or for For me, of course. I need to sleep on the bed and everything. So no, um you know everything. Just winning, everyone loves a winner, so winning is winning and losing you learn from that, but it's always better if you're winning. Well the next round is against Mathilde Johansson, a French player. That's gonna be tough. Playing a French player in Paris. Yeah, definitely. I would probably be on a pretty big court and the French fans are pretty rowdy, so it'll be interesting, but, um, you know, just go out there and do my best, and um, I'm excited to play. Um, we'll be on a pretty good court, so that's good. But you've had a bit of experience about uh, with playing somebody in their own, a, player, a national player from that country. I think you, you, you uh, cited uh, the match you played against Flavia Panetta in Rome. Tell yeah. us about that. I don't think that people, like the fans, could in any more... <laughs> like excited or crazy or anything more than that so I think I've experienced like what it's like to be at the highest level of intensity for fans so anything that they throw out throw on I think Friday um, okay. I'll be ready yeah exactly so you've got that experience under your belt it's not going to come as a shock and the French crowds uh, jeering and whistling or whatever no, maybe definitely not because in Rome they everyone was packed on top of each other there was no seats it was just like cement slabs so I think the people will be spaced out a little more so the sound won't be as you know boxed in so uh, we'll see but I think I'll be okay excited yes Sloan thanks very much thank you